So this is my uh, screen, and I hope you guys can see my screen. Uh, for my screen, let's go to here, and this is models. Uh, I have uh, I have four models. Uh, model one, model two, model two, three, model four. And for the model one, and the C, the C value equals one. And for this is uh, this one C equals uh, one quarter. And for third model is C equals two. And for the, the fourth one, C equals four. So actually, how to determine C? Uh, you can you don't need to specify the C value, and the C value depends upon on how you apply the end conditions and for this beam. And uh, if you uh, look at this, uh, the okay problem description, and you can see and what conditions. And C equals uh, one, and what conditions you C equals other um, values, one quarter, two, or four. Okay, so I here I will not talk about this one in detail. So I, I'm going to show you, and uh, this is my model one. Right? So this is model one, and these are parts. This is my part. And material, I want to show you guys this is my material. And then section, uh, this is my section, right? Uh, so this is the Ethereum process, a profile. Uh, so this one, Stephanie's uh, fluid inertia, I did not specify before analysis. Uh, you need to be very careful when you specify the Ethereum analysis uh, using profile one. Basic. Use these values and linear uh, by gradients. No, don't say I just did not change anything. Our profile, and we build this is a, this is a profile, so this is circular. I did not change anything, so I just want to show you guys. So I just cancel it, assembly, and you build this instance here. And because we only have one element here. And so you don't need to assemble them together, but you need to create this is a, a instances, a, a, only one instance. The step, we have a step here. So make sure that this step, um, you can call this a boggling, others, basic. Uh, so this is use a, a, the nonlinear in geometry and off here. And the field output request uh, you did not, I did not do anything, just use the default value. And so boundary conditions. So please have boundary condition. So boundary conditions there. Uh, okay, here. And the boundary two, as a here, U1, okay, so this is so for this one. Uh, and you want, and you cannot move in the uh, x direction, but uh, in the can you can move in the uh, y direction, and all can also rotate. And then this load, this load, make sure, and this here, on this this one here, there is a load negative one, right? So this is a critical value. So this is a. Um, uh, this value we use ne negative one and in the y direction. So I have already uh, run this simulation. So here uh, I run this, this one, this corresponds to the C1, uh, when C equals one for the first model. And then now I want to visualize it and click this one, right click it and uh, Click create results. So here is a model, uh, the visualization model I select, and this one here. So this one, uh, this one is a visualization. I can uh, see the deformation here. So this is a deformation, right? So this is a U displacement and U, uh, U magnitude. Here is U uh, displacement magnitude. And this is U1, X, and Y. This, uh, uh, this is a resultant displacement. And I can go here results and the step frame. So here, uh, so this 
and this uh, interface shows us uh, the eigenvalues. Model one, model two, model three, model four, model five, model six. So these are the eigenvalues. Right? So this is eigenvalues here. And then uh, for each of these eigenvalues, and uh, and there is one mode. And so look at this, this one. This actually this is uh, by default. This one is uh, um, the deformation of model one. Let me look at the model two. And I apply. So you can see, see it's different, right? And the model three, I apply. See, it's different. Very beautiful, right? Another one, the fifth one, and the sixth one. See, it's very different. So you can get this, uh, um, the contour plots. Um, so this is the uh, U two and field output, and you can get a U one. U this is a uh, and spatial displacement nodes. You can get U, uh, U1, maybe U1, right? The U1 direction, and a little bit different. And U is a displacement, U is a resultant displacement of U1 and U2. And uh, you can change this one also. I can see U2, see? For this also for the uh, mode six. Uh, I can see UR, UR3, the rotation uh, around this uh, Z axis. Uh, so I apply OK. Is UR3. So for each of these modes, and um, you can take a look at U1, U2, and U3. Uh, then um, now I finish, I can click OK. So some students might complain that hey, this is a background, this background is a uh, is this uh is a dark. Uh is this uh, if I print this one, put this uh, uh, print screen and put a screenshot and in the word doc. And then when I print out, and I will, uh, I need to uh, use a lot of ink. So how to change the background? And then you can go here. Okay, so this is options here. Uh, let's see, view is a graphical operation. And go here, viewpoint background, and uh, you, we can use solid. And we use, this is a, a very light one. Right, and then we don't use gradient, and we can see this, and so you can uh, print the screen, and crop, and uh, this one, and so when you print this out, and uh, and you can see a lot of ink. I just just uh, I want to show you how to uh, change the background. Okay, some students say I'm okay because it's a virtual. Uh, you just need to don't need to you need us to, um, print everything out. You just want to give you want us to give you a Word doc or PDF. I'm still want to use that one. Go, go here, view, a graphic options, and use a gradient, and so top, and you can select this is a, anyone here, and apply. Oh, this is very dark. Like, let's you change another one. Uh, let's change. Uh, You good? Oh, okay. It's very, very colorful. Uh, which one is the, the initial one? I'm colorblind. Which one is the initial one? Maybe this one, right? Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, it's default. Let's use, let's use default. Okay, this is a default. Okay, uh, so this is shows and how to get this is a control plot, and also how to get uh, these uh, modes there. Uh, I hope, and um, this is very very uh, useful. Um, give you the useful information. I think these are pretty much uh, and what you need and how to do the post uh, processing. And uh, to further help you, I want to show you uh, for C equals uh, one quarter and what is the model. Uh, this is a boundary condition. Uh, it's a boundary condition. Everything else I think uh, 
is the same. So let's look at the boundary conditions. Boundary condition. Uh, so this is my boundary condition. So this is boundary condition. And for C equals uh, one quarter, um, so this point is fixed. Uh, so look at the, our problem statement. And the C equals one quarter. And so the, the, the bottom point is fixed. And the three de uh, degrees of freedom are fixed. So that's the reason it's fixed here. However, so the top uh, node, the top end is, uh, is free. And we just apply the load here. I oh, know I'm sorry. Uh, load, no, not no new load. I just want to check the existing load. Existing load, a negative one. I also, you need to do the convergence test for each of these C values for these uh, uh, four case scenarios. And when C equals two, and when C equals two, uh, the the bottom uh, end is fixed. In, that means the three degrees of freedom, uh, the three degrees of freedom are uh, uh, constrained. And however, on the top and the top end uh, cannot move only in the y direction. So let's see how I uh, well equals c equals equal, equals two. This is c equals two. Uh, boundary conditions and boundary C1, as I said, I very, the, the bottom end is fixed in three degrees of freedom. Uh, the top end, the top end is, uh, is, a, is a constrained in y direction, cannot move in y direction, but it is free to move uh, in the second direction, in y direction, and also free to rotate about the z axis. So that's the reason for the top end, I have this uh, boundary condition. And also, once again, the load, the load is, uh, is applied at the top end, and uh, the, uh, the force is only in the y direction, and the y direction, the negative one. So this is for uh, the case when c equals two. And for C equals four, uh, that's another uh, case scenario. Four equals four, that means uh, both. Uh, okay, so C equals four, the bottom end is fixed in three degrees of freedom, and the top end uh, can move only uh, in the x direction, in y, I'm sorry, can move only in y direction, cannot move in x direction cannot move in the ur3 so be very careful let me show this uh, uh mode three mode four so this is mode four i have two ends and first boundary condition and as i said the bottom end is fixed in u1 u2 and ur3 the bot the top end is fixed uh, um, U1 cannot move in U1 direction, cannot move in the UR3 direction, can only move in the uh, U2 direction. So this is uh, uh, the boundary condition for the top end. And the, the load, the same thing, the load. And uh, only have this vertical load and which equals negative one, and same for all these uh, three, four cases for values, the same values. So these are pretty much what I have um, for our uh, the buckling modeling. And uh, I hope you guys, everyone uh, will enjoy um, uh, this is advocacy modeling. And feel free to let me know if you have any uh, questions. And uh, I hope this uh, tutorial video